like I normally do. It's your friendly neighborhood Slipgator here. Hanging out today. We're doing stuff and things on the Ark Pooping Evolved server. I hope you guys are having a good day. I'm having a really good day. I don't know what it is. Something went on the last day or so, and I just got excited to play Ark. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm excited to play Ark. Like, I don't know. It's weird. Like, I'm more, even more excited than I normally am to play Ark. And today we're going to hang out. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to play Ark. What's up, Mordecai? I think I named you Mordecai when really your name should be Bloodwing because that was the character from, from Borderlands 2. But anyway, it doesn't matter. So you're a guy that's over there now. So yeah, there's so many things that I want to do um, on the server right now. And um, it's just crazy. It's just crazy. There's a lot of stuff and things going on. This afternoon, I just hung out and I just got materials. I went out around and I got a bunch of wood. I got a bunch of stone. I got a bunch of thatch. I got a bunch of... Well, we had a bunch of fiber already, actually. Um, and went and got, oh uh, no, we had a bunch of hide already. And then we got a bunch of flint. Yep, see, we're keeping it going. And, um, made up a little bit more metal. Oh, wait, I think I popped it out of there. I brought it down and got repairs on all my stuff. Repaired all my stuff. So I just had, like, an afternoon of maintenance, and it was really, really great. So, yeah, I'm glad you guys are here to hang out with me today. We're going to do some fun stuff and things. I want to take a second before we start, though, to thank you guys so much for all your support on the ARC videos. You're continuing an amazing support. Thank you guys so very, very much. If you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe for more daily art stuff and things. So today, we're going to do some stuff and things. So, all right, yesterday in the video with the Pariser, Pariseratherium. Oh, wait, I just made a song. Wait, 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 is it Pariseratherium? No, 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 no. It's not Pariseratherium, it's Parasera. Yeah. Oh, man, do you ever, you guys know that song, Sanitarium by Metallica? Paraceratherium! You guys didn't know it was that amazing. Also, um, thumbs up for that amazing vocal. Let's go over here and take a look at this name of this thing. It is... Does it even not say it right there? I can't even believe it. What are you, thing? It doesn't say what you are anywhere on here, does it? It is a Paraceratherium. So anyway, yesterday... <laughs> Sorry, guys. Yesterday, we went ahead and uh, tamed with the Paraceratheriums, the Paracers. And uh, Drax and I got these two guys over here. They're super low level, right? And then Mazion and Z did a video, too, where they tamed them. And look at their guys. hundred. They got super amazing ones. 134, 122. They named theirs Paris and Honolulu, which are two very amazing um, places to go. And since Drax isn't, we didn't even name ours. And since ours are so kind of low level, I thought I'd name ours, and no offense to anybody from Detroit, but <laughs> I don't know, Detroit, which I always hear about Detroit being like a dangerous and kind of, I'm sure there's nice parts of Detroit. And then Brownsville Junction, um, which is just not the best place. You know, what we'll, we'll call this uh, instead of Detroit, because I don't want to be mean to anyone from Detroit. Where's a town we can really be mean to? China, Maine. No, they have, they have China Dinah. Um, no. Uh, I can't think of a town name. Uh, Johnsonville. Anybody, no offense to anyone living in Johnsonville. Someone's in the comments right now like, I live in Johnsonville. Actually, I take offense. I take great offense. Yeah, I take great offense. Whatever. Um, I thought it would be funny to name those guys names that were, were not as amazing as Honolulu and Paris. And also, you may have noticed while we were over here yesterday in the video, I told you guys that we started a new server. So this is oh, not a new server, but we moved the map over to a new server. So this is the new server that we're on right now. And I had lost Toad, and we couldn't get onto the old server. Well, I have Toad now, and I got Bluetooth. So we got him. And, um, yeah, it's the thing. I, I brought them over. So, and it, some of you guys may not know this. I mean, most of you guys probably do, but those towers, you can download and upload dinos. That's what we did with Brian and Sarah when they were, went on their honeymoon. It, yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is officially announced Sarah and Brian are on their honeymoon. So, anyway, you can download uh, dinos from these towers, and I brought Bluetooth and Toad over from the other server. So, we're good to go with that. Some of the other guys... Um, so basically, it was from. It's so weird to think about that, though, right? Like the ser the other server is the same thing as here, and then we brought these guys over, so they're here now, even though they were here before. But it's just a different kind of here. That's a super amazing lag free experience, and most everybody, I think every single person so far on the server has said that um, it's running much much better. So it's really 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 exciting. All right. So our plan for today, I want to look for a high level pariser. 
level 12. You are not a high level Pariser. We will eat your face off and take all of your stuff and things and put it inside of our body and enjoy you. And you will bring life to the server. Also, the Pariser ragdoll is super funny. Um, they have a little bit of updating to do on that, I bet you. But um, I'm really looking for either, it doesn't matter, um, a Dimorphodon, um, a Pariser, uh, free water, a, uh, a T-Rex we could get, something like that. Now, I normally almost never set out to tame something in a video. Like, I just do my video and then we see what happens. 52, I feel like you're still super low. Um, but I think today we can do that. We can set a goal to tame something because we're going to set our goal to do so many things. It could be a Parasaur, it could be a Dimorphodon, it could be a T-Rex. So we've got to be able to find w at least one of those things. So um, that's what we're going to get on to. But there's something else that I did want to talk to you about. And one of the things that I'm really excited about is... what? Look at that ragdoll, man! Did you see it? He just, like, squirted up in the air for no reason. Why are you squirting up in the air? Oh, yeah, this happened earlier and I couldn't... Oh, see? There's definitely some glitchy stuff going on with the Parasaur. Pariser. Pariser Ethereum, yeah. The Pariser um, dead bodies are like super glitchy. You see that? Like it's not even a dead body for reals. We can't get anything from it and it's not decomposing. So I'm sure there'll be a bug fix out for that. But coming up this, this week, actually the day this video comes out, most likely, will be the update that is going to be all the biomes. So the day, this may be the day before, the day of. The biome update is supposed to happen on... Friday, I do believe. And that means that there's actually going to be three new dinos again. This I can't believe. And this lake is supposed to turn into a swamp. Now, anything that's in a biome, supposedly, we don't really know this for sure, Zs, I don't think. Well, but the story on the campfire that I hear is that anything that's in the biomes that are going to change, and this lake is definitely going to change, any structures built on them are, are going to be destroyed. So... We're worried about building anything here. Now, the reason I'm selling you this is because I want to build a better house. Look at these guys' houses. Look how amazing. Like, Z's got this beautiful, like, villa. I mean, look at this thing, man. What has Miola done? He's got this, like, super scary face thing. It's awesome, man. And Drax and Mazion, they have amazing bases over here, too. Like, they're just really, really cool looking. That's Menace's Steakhouse. I don't know if I've shown you guys this. Menace did the Steakhouse. It's really, really cool. It says Menace's Steakhouse. There's a way that you can um, apply like um, a JPEG or an image to a banner now, um, and you can do that with a program that's like an add-on. So he did that. That looks really cool. So the point is that all these places are so amazing, and I definitely want to build a better house here at Poop City, and also me and Maz were talking about, and I think maybe a lot of people will do it. I saw you, Dimorphodon. What level are you? Can we even see you with our stupid spyglass? It's going to be really, really hard because you're weird and so... Like, oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. 20? There's not even a mouse on a wheel. Come over here, stupid. No, you're dead. So anyway, the point being is that we want to do a lot of work in the in the city, and I'm really excited to do it, um, but we're afraid to. I'm afraid to until the biome update happens and we know what the death and destruction of the area is going to look like. Um, definitely an opportune place to have built stuff. Um, uh, yeah, but anywho, so, so that's kind of an update on what I have, the way I feel, the stuff and things I want to do. Scott died! How did Scott die? Oh, man, we got to go and check it out. Oh, Scott was, like, right over in the water pen. Oh, my God, we got to get over there and see what's going on. And we're back, and I was pretty sure I, I could be wrong, but I thought that Scott was in here. There's a 94 ichthy right there. I, maybe he wasn't. You know, the other day we did the... Oh, oh man, get off your bird, man. We did the episode where we did the Parasaur Saddles. And it looks like everybody said that they like they like treble better than bass, which is fine. If you guys don't like the amazing tower, then whatever. That's fine. That's fine. But I thought Scott was in here, but he's not. And there's no... The biggest thing is I was worried about there being stuff and things getting killed around here. So as long as there's nothing getting killed and there's no breaks in the, in the fence here, we should be good to go. So, all right. That's cool. All right. Just a little update there. Everything's fine. No need to be worried. Now that it's a beautiful daytime out. I am going to have a fly around, and I'm going to look for some cool dinos and see if we can find something. And then I'll BRBs, peeps. 16. 16! And we're back! Check it out, peeps. This is going to be our mobile smelting station. Male Paraceratherium. Paraceratherium! Level 108. Super, super high level. Uh, so we're going to set you over here. We're going to go ahead and pop off. 
we're going to go ahead and whistle passive. We're going to go ahead and get out our bow. We're going to go ahead and send on this rock. And we're going to go ahead and shoot him in the butt. Oh, what? You feel a little sting in your hind quarter area, place thing? I wonder if we can get him stuck over here, because that would be really sweet. Oh, yeah. You can't get to me. You're a stupid pair. Oh, no. He's coming. He can't get to me. Super Paraceratherium. Also, uh, oddly enough, no uh, attack music. Are you going to just walk up the rock? He's just walking up the rock. He doesn't even care. We got you. I shot you in your face, place. No. Paraceratherium. Don't get me. What are you doing? Go to your happy place. Run. Stop here. All right. We got this. Everyone just calm down. Okay. There's no need to be screaming and yelling and stuff like that. Ah. We're just going to keep kiting. Now, I'm assuming I have 100 arrows. Ooh! We're getting him on the straight and narrow here. No, but um, I'm assuming we can get him with 100. Oh, you got to wrap up your nostril area. That's probably really close to your brain, so hopefully you're feeling a little bit, a little bit, you know. We get a little sleepy. Ooh! It's a super big. They're like a rhinoceros. Like a combination between a rhinoceros and giraffe. What's up, rhinoceros? Ooh! Oh! All right, we got this. Now that, just keep kiting. Just keep kiting. And he's down, dude. We've been running in circles for a long time, dude. You're all messed up. Look at you, homie. You got stuff everywhere. You look so wasted. You're wasted, man. You're wasted. <laughs> so we got him. It took uh, 53 arrows to take him down. And um, yes, yeah, so we got him. He's 108. And uh, one of the things we found out, I was doing a little bit of research. It looks like Packy Kibble is what we need for these guys. So I don't know if over at the Kibble Farm, if we even have any. Um, in the immediate area right here, this is a pretty um, like carnivore free zone. There's a Packy over there. There's the Stego right there. I feel like we could leave it. Oh, wait. I thought that tree was a scorpion. We're going to head over here, see if we've got any Packy eggs to make kibble, and uh, then we'll be our bees, peeps. All right. Let's take a look here and see what we got. Packy eggs, turtle egg, palm scorpions, parasaur egg, Stego egg, turk egg, pronto egg, pterodon egg, dalo egg, sarco egg, dodo egg. No! No Packy eggs for realsies. Did any of you Packies lay any eggs? Did you lay an egg, man? Why don't you lay an egg? Don't you know I need your kibble? I thought we had... Oh, yeah, we do have a couple other packies over here. It looks like either somebody already grabbed it all to use, or the we just haven't been collecting it or something like that. Because I, I moved all the eggs over here the other day. So... We're, at, we're, we're out of luck. We're out of luck. So we're just going to have to use regular mayhole berries. Also, where's Community Mammoth? Oh, yeah, and thanks to Drax, by the way, he moved um, the two T-Rexes over from the other server and moved them over to here, too. Community Mammoth is gone, which I think is kind of strange. He should be here. But anywho, so it looks like we're going to have to get some medjo berries and just tame this guy the old-fashioned way. Day 23. Taming the Pariser. I've built a small shack in which I could rest my weary head. From my arduous taming adventures. I built a fire and named it Kevin. And we've been having amazing discussions. I may carve a chessboard out of this palm frond later so that Kevin and I may occupy our time by playing chess together. And still we wait for the Pariser to tame. But now I am weary. And must rest in my house that I'm way too big for. <laughs> and we're back! And it's the thing, peeps! We got this bad boy right here. Paraceratherium! That was not as good as the first ones. I feel like I've, I've run out of Paraceratherium singing ability powers. So, I went back to base. I had This guy took a long time to tame up. Almost, I don't know. We have Taming Accelerated, and it was still very near to two hours. 
So um, I, I don't normally leave my teams. I don't feel like that's a really good thing to do. A lot of people I know do leave their teams. And um, and they have problems, and I didn't want to have a problem with this, but I did leave a little bit in order to make the new platform saddle for him. Bam! Nailed the days to can't be stopped. Look how amazing you look. And we're gonna name this guy Hardware. Oh yeah, that's our boy Hardware. What's up, man? He's gonna go ahead and get our stuff and things going for us. So we're gonna get on our bird. We're gonna get. Oh, he was already following, but now he'll be following gameplay. We're gonna get a hardware follow. We're gonna leave our little house up for let's get hardware. Stop trying to bite me. Hardware, you're supposed to be a peaceful parasir. Come on, buddy. We're gonna cross over here and we're gonna head back to base. We're gonna get you a baller paint job, and then we're gonna outfit you as a mobile forging station, so we can get all the metal. That's right, peeps. That's what I want to do with him. Something the same thing that me and Drax did on the other guy. Um, on uh, Brownsville Junction, uh, that, that we did the mobile forging station, but I wanted it to do it on on hardware because he's much much higher level. Oh wait, before I forget, you know, before we cut to doing some painting stuff and things, let's check out what we got going on here. Five thousand seven hundred hit points. Holy crap! Nine hundred sixty stamina. He timed out at seven hundred and forty weight already, and three fifty three melee damage. So he's he's pretty baller. Let's just be honest. We made a name him baller. We called that name him ball bearing. That's metal and is a ball and he has a baller, but I like the name hardware. So, all right, let's pop off right here and just double check uh, what's in this bad boy. Oh, yay. Uh, no, nah, not interested. So, all right, we're going to head back to base and then I will be our bees, peeps. And we're back and I got hardware right here. Let's pop up inside of here and let's pop off. Let's take a look at what's going to go on here. First thing is I want to build with wood, uh, with stone. I think it's going to be cool looking. But we've got to split this up, like, directly in half. So, again, if you look at, like, exactly where this comes down, it's really to see the line that is closest to the center on the right side of me. This line right uh -huh. This line is closest to the center line. And it's about a this early amount over from the center would be, like, the, se the middle. Would be the middle from that line would be the middle, if that makes any sense. All right, so now what that means is we got to take a look here. Let's go like this. Let's go like this. All right, there we go. Now we can get a little bit of an alignment going. So we got to turn a little bit to this side. Let's take a look and see what that looks like. We can get a little bit closer. All right, we're a little bit weird. We're a little bit off. Let's go like this. Let's go like this. And we're hanging off the back a little bit. Doesn't matter. Nail the day stick can't be stopped. Amazing stuff and things is about to happen. Now, we can place one of these, one of these, and one of these. It is the best thing that ever happened. Can we walk directly up onto this? Oh, we can't. You can do it with the wood. You can just walk directly up. So, oh, that kind of stinks. We're going to have to jump up every time or build... Wow, we could build ramps and see what that looks like. I wonder why on the wood one you can walk right up there. Oh, we did it. Maybe it's his inclination. His inclination could be a little bit different. Oh, that looks so cool, man. It's going to look even cooler when we paint it blue. All right, perhaps his inclination makes a difference. Let us try it. Zerp, yep. Okay, it is inclination. It's just the way he's kind of aligned that made it that do that. All right, so we got our foundations down. Next, I am going to go ahead and just get a bunch of stuff done, guys. I'm going to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like 10 ceilings built. We're going to do a huge amount of refining forges. I want to have, I do believe, 10 on him. Um, and we're going to need like mortar and pestle fireplace, a bunch of different mobile stuff to just survive. He's not really a mobile base. That's not really the point. Um, he's not supposed to be doing that, but he is a mobile forge. So we do need to have stuff like... You know, mortar and pestles just so that we can make up spark powder. You know what I mean? All the stuff and things like that. So, all right. Let's see inside of here. Huh? Where are you, ceilings? There you are. Seven? That's not even a mouse on a wheel. Give me more wood. Can't. All right. Seven is as much as we can do. All right. I'm going to do a bunch of building. And then I will be our bees, peeps. And we're back. And he's the whole thing. I'm going to show you here in a second. Before I show you all the stuff and things that I did, I got to grab my paints, man. We need our paints. I made a bunch more. 
We got a bunch of paints. We got a paints brush. And our inventory is this, just a big, huge disaster, which I can't, I just can't have it. I just won't have it at all. So let's go ahead and drop our hide back inside of here. Let's drop our uh, fiber back inside of here. And our thatch back inside of here. And our wood back inside of here. Oh, and I got the... I got the uh, flint in the wrong chest. We'll stick it right there. But you know what? What a good idea that I went out today and got a bunch of items, a bunch of stuff and things, so we'd have plenty of everything so we could do all the things we wanted to do today. So, all right. Now we're popping over here. Let me show you what we got going on. Come on, hardware. Show the peeps what it is. Basically... I did, I really looked at the, the design that Drax and I did, and really, I, I mean, it was Drax that did it, uh, and I just really, really liked it. So I went with exa that exact design, um, uh, the little kind of minor small changes. We got a refining, or pardon me, a smithy on here. We got two fires for making food stuff and things. We got two mortar and pestles for making spark powder stuff and things. A couple pieces of storage. We don't really need a lot of storage. Uh, most everything will probably store right inside the refining forges, and I wanted to do 10 of these guys, but... I couldn't do 10 and get the two ramps. I'm at the item limit, which I think is 31. So this is what we got. That's what she looks like. That's hardware. What up, hardware? I think it looks cool from the front, too, man. It looks like a thing, like for realsies. And if we come up on it and we're driving around, it's so cool, man. But you know what we got to do? As we do with all our dinos, we got to brand this bad boy. This is a Slipgator brand hardware. Paris racer, uh, par uh, <laughs> Paraceratherium. So we got to go ahead and give it a paint job. Let's get our brush out. And let's do this, peeps! got him painted up kind of sorta I gotta tell you that um painting the folds the wrinkly folds of one of these bad boys is quite a struggling quite a struggle it's quite a hard thing to do so we've got do you have white on your butt why do you have a white butt area back here can we even see this so um this guy's actually really difficult to paint and I'm gonna show you something real quick why no why do you delete why do you hate your slip gator so if we go over here, don't hate your slip gator, and we go like this to make this. Does it give him a white butt again? Why do you give him a white butt? All right, well, just look. That's his clean butt part. So um, there's not a way to paint the face of the para, uh, para sir. This is not a way to do it. You can't do it. If you try to get in here, all you get is, like, the inside, and then I, this is as far out as I can zoom. Like, I can zoom way in, but I can't zoom way out. Like, and no matter what way I r rotate him, I can't see the face no matter what I do. So, so so we just have to roll the punches sometimes, peeps. Now, I think there's some editors that we could use maybe uh, to give him a paint on his face would be a little bit uh, better. So we might do that in the future. Let's take a look if we jump on him. I think maybe the top of his neck too. Yeah, you can see the top of his neck. I couldn't get either. I know, I know. You're not painted. There's just nothing we could do. Wait, stop. Don't stop jumping, running, humping. So um, uh, 5,700 hit points. I got him up to 1,000 stamina. I want to go ahead and pump his hit points a little bit more. Holy crap, he gets a lot of hit points. That's crazy. Oh, man, look, he's hurt already because of it. And I'm so peeved off I can't paint his face. Like, I just, I don't know what to do about it. Like, I just want to paint his face so badly. But it looks like it's not going to be a thing. So, any hoozle. We did it, ladies and gentle peeps. We set out to do what we wanted to do today. Accomplish what we wanted to accomplish, kind of. 
except for the paint. And, uh, yeah, we had a good time doing it, too. I had a great time hanging out with you guys. I hope that you did, too. That's going to be it for today, peeps. If you guys liked the video, 